Professor Nordell here, and I'd like to go over adding text to the wall of your museum. So I'm here in Add in Place, and we can add images, videos, 3D objects, and also text. So I'll click here for text, and then I want to add some text. And I actually have a curatorial statement here that I wrote for a student art show. So I'll just paste in that text. Uh, I can come down here and uh, choose a color for the text. So alignment, uh, this relates to the text alignment. So if it's aligned left, it means the left-hand side of that text will be straight. And with aligned right, the right-hand side of the text will be straight. I like center because it's kind of justified on either side and that's how I like to do it. And then I just need to put in some title in here. It doesn't show, but just uh, so there's a title in there. And then I click Save. And as always, I strongly recommend that you refresh anytime you add a batch of photos or text or anything. Um, I just find that clicking Refresh or reloading the page uh, seems to work out really well. So I've got a spot here, oops, for my curatorial statement. So just when people walk into the museum, they'll see it. So I'll come over to text, and then right here, I choose that text. I come and click, and you can see that um, it is one long string of text. So that doesn't look good at all. So what I need to do is click on, I can click on my text right here to open the edit window. And so you can see this was just one long stream of text. And I have, actually let me close this just for a second. I have this pretty narrow area for my text. So what I can do is hit the enter or return key and make a column, a thin column of text. So I am just doing this here. So I want it to be, you know, roughly the same width uh, coming down here. And so I'm almost set. Okay. So I've made my text thinner, or in a column, by using the enter or return key to make paragraphs. So then I'll do save. So we can see here uh, that my, whoa, my text has come in, uh, but it's, it, it's, it's fitting better. Um, but what I need to do is, um, I, in the same way with the image, I can make it smaller. I sometimes find that I lose my menu across the top here and for uh, moving or changing scale. So once again, I'll come back to my friend up here to reload or refresh the page. As I mentioned, this is a very powerful program. It uses a lot of um, uh, memory and so on. And so sometimes you need to uh, do refresh. So let me just uh, come in here. So what I can do is I can click on the text, come right here back to my scale button, and then just scale down the text. Let me go back to move, and move it over, bring it down a little bit. Um, yeah, so that is definitely looking better. I want to center it. It seems to fit in pretty nicely there. And so let me just click Save. And then go to Preview. And just pop into my museum. And there I have my uh, curatorial statement. All righty. Have fun.